Mr. Vogel. I'm so sick of this spectator mentality. Tyler, what can people do? Immediately get out, register voters. The deadline. What does that mean? How do people Arizona do that? Because I get emails. Charlie, how do I register people? Do I sign them up on a piece of paper? Go straight to tpaction.com slash vote and fill out the form. It'll take you right over to the website that for your state to sign up. Click on the state, register them online. Uh, you can also just get involved at tpaction.com slash get involved. Uh, we will help you. Our people on the ground will help you. But tpaction.com slash vote. Download the Turning Point Action application. Once you go in there, right in the sweetest thing, it says right in the top left-hand corner, register to vote. Click the button, and it's right in the palm of your hand. Every so, day. so if you have a neighbor that's not registered to vote, if you have a plumber that's not registered to vote, you can take out your phone yep. at tpaction.com slash vote and have them fill it out right then and there, correct? Yeah, that, all 50 states. That all 50 states, and then also download the TP Action application, and it's just right on the front page, top left-hand corner, it says register to vote. Click the button, they'll take you right over to that same link. Okay, we'll be back in 10 seconds here. This is very important as we need to go win, everybody. This will not get better unless we win. And even then, it's going to be rocky. But if we lose, it will get worse. And it will be on us for not working hard enough. Everybody, welcome back. Email us freedom at charliekirk.com. Okay, so this is the final push for voter registration, right, Tyler? Once that window passes, then too bad, so sad. We're locked in. And in many states, you have voter registration up until the day of, so same day voter registration. But in states like Arizona, you have a cutoff. And the cutoff in Arizona is October 7th. So we have just a couple weeks left, three weeks left here uh, to get in everybody's voter registration. Uh, you have to do it. If you have a family member, a 18 year old, someone 17 turning 18 before the election, uh, anyone that's new, someone that's new to the state that just re recently moved in. We have tons of new Californians. This is the biggest thing. We have tons of people who left and abandoned California to come somewhere better and then they didn't register to vote. So you have to do it. You can go to tpaction.com slash vote today. Our website takes you right over to where you need to go. You fill out the form and it takes you to the right uh, drop down. You select your state and then it takes you right over to do it online. Right now, the actual the voter registration is going well in Arizona for Republicans. Yeah, a lot of people expected after the Kamala uh, announcement a that- A big spike? Yeah, there would be all this money fl flooding in, and I think there was. However, they're not successful because re Republicans are still out registering Democrats significantly. Uh, and so that's good, that's a good trend, but it should be more. Uh, right now, Republicans are basically a quarter of a million votes over Democrats in Arizona. But that we know that that's not enough. We need to get to 300. We need to get to 300. 300 would be a really nice round number for us. Uh, and then we need to chase an extra 300,000 people. And so if you do both those things, you win Arizona by a, a healthy margin. And it's possible, but it's all a numbers game and everybody has to do their part. It, it's a volume game too. And so the best line of work, everybody listening, is if you live in Arizona, Nevada, if you live in Georgia, if you live in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, I want you to think of a couple people in your life that have recently moved into your neighborhood or your state from another state. That's the low hanging fruit, right? Yep. Is out of state transfers, especially in Arizona, Nevada. Yep. Those states, because there's a lot of California outward migration. California's losing thousands of people a day and hundreds of them come to Arizona. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Every month you have tens of thousands of people move, leave the state of, of California a lot of those people will move in the week before the election, the week before the election, uh, the voter registration deadline. So, you know, the people who move in October, they're, they're, they're going to lose their opportunity to vote effectively. Yeah. And so and if they know they're moving, they should register ahead of time. So, I mean, again, I'm doing this every day. I, there's a neighbor of mine who's from Indiana, great people. And they're like, hey, Charlie, we just moved to Arizona. Should, and I, we still have our property in Indiana. Where should I vote? I said, well, you should def you can only vote in one place, register here, unregister in Indiana, yep. and register here. Conv they said, well, why? Isn't Indiana important? I said, no, it's not, actually. <laughs> and they, they were super sweet about it. And let's vote here. Yeah. And they did it. Yeah. And so now that's two new voters for Trump in Arizona. And it was just a matter of having the conversation, you moved from out of state, let's re-register you here. Well, and that's the thing about Arizona, because Arizona is a move-in state. Uh, we have so many people who are snowbirds who have, live in a snowy place in the in the summertime and they move here for the winter time, but they're registered in that snowy place that their vote doesn't really matter. 
And so when they come here, a lot of people, we have the conversation just like you did. That's why polling is also goofy in Arizona. Well, that's why polling is on in the summer. Yeah, is because you have to keep reminding perpetually snowbirds, hey, your vote is more important here now, right? Yes. It didn't used to be. So a lot of people would keep their vote in Iowa because it mattered more it in Iowa. It used to be much more much battleground more important. Yeah. Now Arizona is more important. Now they, they should shift their voter registration over here cancel it there they don't you don't need to do anything to cancel it you just re-register here it's only you only have to make sure that you only vote in one state and and so the it's very simple all of you guys can become a one-stop shop registering voters yes right you can do it at churches at gun stores at walmarts uh alini said uh alini's texas she said i was at church registering people all day to vote yesterday three services i told them now they have to make sure people actually vote and in arizona it actually uh we get it's mass mail and voting, which is bad, but in some way that's good, so we don't have to do as much work. It's going to increase turnout. So it's like registration is a direct tie to likelihood of winning in Arizona. 100%. Yeah. More so than almost any other state. 100%. Because of early voting. Yeah, which we don't historic. love. But we, don't, we don't love it, but it exists. It's been one of the most, the longest tenured early voting states by mail. And there's so many people, again, those snowbirds, those people that come in that are really good with voting by mail. So get them on, get them registered, vote however you really want. Really quick, we're in like 30 seconds. Typically, do we see a bum rush before the voter registration deadline for Democrats? That's right. So typically, they get like a little bit of a spike. They get a little because spike. they bring bodies in, they go to college campuses. If we're able to quell that, if not win, that's a bad sign for them, right? Hugely bad sign. So be part of the, the solution. Yeah, be part of the quelling of their little sugar high bump, right? cpaction.com slash vote or download our application. Click the, the top left-hand corner, register to vote. Okay tpaction.com slash vote that is tpaction.com slash vote second hour coming up with dr ben carson and also susan crabtree stay right there